they were threatening to to make it up. Roll tape, please. It's really well done. And we have speed. Well, Johnny, one more time. One more time. I, I, I say that like it'll be the last. It's not going to be the last. I hope not. I have to tell you right from the top that there are certain movies, you know, that any time you have an opportunity to see them, you just stop what you're doing and you look at the movie. Now, I've added another one to the list, and it's this one. Oh, good. Well, I'm yes. glad. That's yes. great. Thank you. Oh, it, it just delightful film. Everything about it. I'm curious to know if uh, somebody came up to you, Johnny, and said, I'm Don Juan DeMarco, the world's greatest lover. Mm -hmm. what, what would your take be on that? What would my take be on it? Well, I would uh, shake his hand. That would be the first thing I'd do. <laughs> Congratulate him. Congratulations. <laughs> but uh, would you uh, write him off as some kind of a nutter or just uh, sit down and talk to him? What would you do? No, I would definitely sit down and talk to him, yeah. If he wanted to sit down and talk, I would sit down and talk to him. Uh, I, because I think that uh, um, if a person decides, regardless of where they come from, if a person decides to to make an effort into their own life and reinvent their life and, 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 and decide to live their own reality and make it what they want as opposed to what's been hammered out for them or uh, conditioned into them, uh, uh, I, I, I would have the utmost respect for that, for a person like that. You've been quoted as saying that if Brando you would do it only if Brando did it. Mm -hmm. Now, did you really mean that? You wouldn't turn down this wonderful role, would you? Well, I, tell you, I, I, I just, when I was reading the screenplay, and I, and I felt that the dialogue was so amazing, the, the, the poetry and, and the, uh, the, the rhythm of the dialogue, I thought, was so beautiful, and the relationship between the doctor and the patient was so different from anything I'd read before that I, I knew it had to be done perfectly, carefully, uh, it's very, as strong as the material is, it's still very delicate, and one little deviation could, could uh, really screw things up, and uh, I kept seeing Marlon Brando, I, I just kept seeing Marlon Brando in the role, and uh, I felt very passionate about it, and uh, I think, that, I mean, would I have done it if he hadn't done it? Um, I don't know. I, it wouldn't have been easy to walk away from, but, uh, but it had to be done right, and, and I, I just think that had someone else done it, it would have been very, very different. Uh, he was uh, spectacular. Acting a scene with Marlon Brando, mm -hmm. how is it different from acting a scene with other great actors you've worked with? Well, um, boy, I've worked with, uh, I've been very lucky. I've worked with some really great ones. I mean, uh, Martin Landau has always been one of my favorites, and. Uh, he was a, a very, very generous man and a very, very generous actor. Um, uh, I've worked with Faye before, Dunaway, and uh, she's amazing. Uh, Vincent Price. Uh, um, they're all very different. They're all very, very different. But uh, with, with, in the case of, in working with Marlon <coughs> Brando, he was, he was not just. It's not just that he was generous, because he was he was as generous as Martin. I mean, I mean just incredible, above and beyond the call. You know, just very generous and very uh, supportive and, and helpful and respectful. Um, but he, uh, what was amazing is that he understood, uh, on a very deep level, uh, he understood. I think some of the things that I. Uh, maybe have gone through growing up. I think he understood very well things I was going through right now. Um, on a very deep level, uh, he's a pretty insightful guy. He's a pretty—I uh, mean—he's a real genius um, with people. He, his thought—he's a—he's a brilliant man. And um, uh, so, it was—he's uh, just unique. He's just very, very unique. Is there any one thing, Johnny, that he said to you that has made such an impression in your mind that you will never, ever forget it? He said so many things that uh, that I will never forget. There are so many things uh, in my head uh, and in my heart that uh, that uh, I was sort of 
blessed to hear. I mean, I, I really feel uh, honored that uh, that uh, he took the time uh, and, and made the effort to, to, you know, not only work with me, hang out with me, but uh, to be a, such a gentleman. Um, and, and he gave me a lot of advice, but it's not, I, w I mean, there's some very personal things that I, w I wouldn't necessarily, you know, display for the public, you know, just kind of things that I, I can feel happy that I've You'll be you your know, friend for life, you think? I certainly hope so. Uh, um, I feel like we, uh, we uh, had a good relationship uh, working and, uh, and uh, you know, and hanging out, so... Uh, I, I certainly, I love the guy. I mean, he's great, great guy. Well, I'm glad the two of you got together for the film. Oh, and again, congratulations. Thanks. It's a really spectacular film. I loved it a lot. Oh, I Thank appreciate you, it. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, nice to see you again.